Welcome to week four. All right, as you know, I was gone last Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and I will be gone Monday of this week. I want to summarize a few things that did not happen last week, but also prepare you for what's happening this week. First, let's take a look at what's going on this week. We will be sharing our creations, uh, presenting to the class for peer review. We will not be presenting to the advisory members for session one, just because we haven't had enough time to really develop something that will be worthy of feedback on content of the thing we created. But we will do peer review, and so we'll go through the process of the teams presenting their slideshows, what their SMART goal was, what they were hoping to learn. That we will do. Then we will look at the thing that you created as a team, and then get feedback, which will help us finish up the blog post for session one. So you can see up here the assignments we're doing this week. And um, next, let's go over and take a look at what did not happen last week. So for many students, if we look at both the assignments here that were due on the 9th, which was add evidence to the slideshow, overwhelmingly, students did not complete this. So <laughs> read the comments in the gradebook. You did not get credit. It says missing, and then I tell you what to do in the gradebook. So again, Schoology gradebook, always reference that. Uh, the sub on Monday probably is reminding you that you're missing work uh, to get that stuff done. So Monday, get those things done because that should be enough time to do that. Um, and the same thing with the blog post. Now let me go through what this means. So first off, when you read the assignments, again, the what, why, how, this is the stuff that matters most. So just put this stuff in here. Now for the slideshows, the most important thing is as a team, fill out this information at the top. And now for game and film, it's the same structure. So each person has four slides that they need to complete. First name only for your role, what your SMART goal was, copy and paste it, make it big enough so we can see it. And then screenshots. A screenshot is Command Shift 4 on a Mac. You then click and drag over the area you want to take a picture of on the desktop and then let go. You'll hear a camera you know, sound or sound effect. Again, Command Shift 4, click with the mouse, drag over the area you want and then let go of the mouse and a picture will be taken and it will automatically show up on the desktop. So that's a great way to get evidence of your SMART goal. Uh, some kind of visual thing. Just saying you did it does not work. We need evidence. So um, screenshots of GarageBand, tracks, um, research you did, something like that. You put that here. Then on the next slide, describe problems that you solved to achieve your SMART goal. If you didn't have to solve any problems, you weren't working hard enough. I guarantee you, you had problems to solve. Unless you did nothing. If you did nothing, then I, I don't really know what you're doing in class. So you need to be pushing boundaries. Even if it's as simple as communicating with your team, learning how to do that, uh, that's fine. That will count. Describe other issues that you overcame specific to your role. Again, just being in the classroom is nice, but you had a job to do for your team. What didn't you know and how did you teach yourself? Or when you had some other conundrum, problem, issue related to your role, what did you do to get past that? This stuff, this slide is probably the most important one. It helps us reveal how your learning process works and how to better support you. The advisory members and myself and other people in class, this is really important for us to develop is become better problem solvers. When we hit an issue, try three than me. You've heard me say that. Try three different strategies to figure it out on your own. And yes, that'll be frustrating at times, that is the stretch, just like building muscle. You get stronger the more you tackle issues on your own and marshal or get your resources to work with you. And those people could be, or things could be uh, people on your team or other things that are in the Schoology folder. I have a lot of resources in there. Okay, enough about that. Um, Rock, in School of Rock, your slides are slightly different, very similar, but you have person, smart goal, and that. So there's only three slides just because you're doing um, audio-based stuff. So just so you know, you'll have three slides per person to fill in. And each person gets credit for doing their slides. Uh, it's not a team project. So just a reminder about that. The other project that was due last week was updating the production section of your blog post. There's two elements. Let's take a look at it. When you open up your template that you have in your blog, what you do is you scroll down to let's go down past here to the production section there are two things link your film or your your itch page 
so for film or it's page for game design or the audio uh, from your Google Drive. Both the film and the audio will come from your Google Drive. So link it, make sure it's public so we can click on it, listen to it, watch it, etc. And then write a sentence about what it is. Like this is the film our team made based on the prompt or this is a song our team made and so on. Uh, this is our itch page that we upload our game to. And uh, for the itch page, make sure the game is playable. Most of the pages I went to had some kind of problem and were not playable or did not have a game at all. So make sure that that's there. Skills commentary. This is a link to your slideshow. So when I talk about slideshow, I'm talking about this slideshow. So this should be linked right here. Make sure it's public. Then write a sentence underneath it about what we're looking at for your job, your role. So again, it's like your team made a film, a game, uh, some kind of composition. What was your role? And just a sentence about that. It's like, as director, you can see the evidence of my SMART goal in the slideshow above. Something along those lines. And if you want to name your SMART goal, that'd be great. You know, I was trying to learn how to do better camera angles or how to play the bass or whatever. The idea is when you're creating your blog posts, you're writing them for somebody who is not in the class that does not know you. This could be a college you're applying to, this could be a job you're applying to, something like that, that this information would help them understand how you can do the creative process from beginning to end, pre-production, production, post-production. Post -production. The world of work needs to know that you can do those three cycles and that you have evidence of you doing these things. And everybody has problems, everybody has a hard time communicating with their team, everybody has to figure out and teach themselves and train themselves along the journey. They wanna hear your story. They want to see your story and that's why the blog is so powerful it's your portfolio of how you get stuff done so having said that uh monday get these things done we have things to do this week it's gonna be a lot of fun um again i hope this all makes sense if not reread the directions in both the grade books comments and or the assignments they tell you what to do and uh i will see you this week take care